Hi there, today I'm unboxing an advanced smart home security system. This particular system comes with an outdoor solar siren box. It's by a company called NRJ. Details are in the description below if you want to have a look. So let's have a look at what we get in the packaging. So first of all, this box. Get the siren. And let's see what else we have. Okay, some instructions, user manual on that. All in English. And some fixtures for attaching it. Okay, that's one of the items. Let's go for this one next. IP camera on there. The branding on there for NRJ. Some details on there as well. Okay, let's have a look at what we get. Right, so this is an outdoor camera. Let's take it out of its packaging. And the other bits and pieces you get with it as well. There you go. Okay, and finally, let's see what's in this one. Okay, some instructions. Again, in English. Got a mounting bracket for the actual camera, power adapter, two sets of fixtures, the actual camera, another fixture for installing it, seems. Got a door sensor, remote control, PIR, and some sticky pads for the actual door sensor. Okay, so here are all the items laid out that you get in the actual package. So let's go through the items quickly one by one. So the actual siren itself, build quality is tough plastic. You've got the solar panel at the top, and obviously an indicator here in red. It'll probably be flashing when it goes off. At the back, you can see there's an off on button there, wireless connect there. And if I just hold it in this position, you may be able to work out a charging point there, micro USB. And if I shift this down, Looks like an anti-tamper. If someone tries to pull this off, it'll probably go off. And the actual mounting bracket for this. So just one point on there to mount. So obviously you attach the screws onto there and push it straight down and it's done. Okay, that's that. Next thing is the outdoor camera. Got some details underneath regarding the actual camera. Build quality seems good. This particular one looks like the glass has a crack on there. So one, two, three cracks. Maybe it got damaged in transit, but wouldn't see why that still wouldn't be usable because there are only infrared lights there. Okay, good solid build, metal. All the fixtures. We've got the actual Wi-Fi aerial there, so that just screws on quite easily like so. On the end here, we've got the point for power, ethernet, and a reset, which you can just cover like so. Okay, and then fitting wise, to keep a nice tight seal, you can put this on there like that. You could either drill going inwards somewhere, but it would be quite a large hole you'd have to do, or just have it out sideways going into a weatherproof box at the side, it's like so. So this will be held in the weatherproof box. Okay, and then power wise, this is the power adapter, obviously plugs straight into there like so. Then you've got the actual seal here for ethernet. So you can plug your ethernet into there and get a tight seal over it. Okay, so that's the outdoor camera. Then we've got our indoor camera here. 
This is primarily for indoor use, all plasticky. I'll cover the details over there. You've got the mounting screw just here to enable you to fit this underneath. I'll just show that for completeness. And then you can place it like so if you wanted to, or on a wall, like so, and you can adjust it. Okay, so you've got the Wi-Fi antenna there, ethernet connection, a reset point, you just put a pen in there and reset it, micro SD card slot, and a power point. That's where obviously this goes in, simple. Okay, the other things you get, door connectors, door sensor itself, all plasticky, obviously the sticky pads, the 3M pads on there, so you put it on one, you can stick that on your door, and this sort of clips on. Like so, same for the other one, so if I, yeah, there you go, pops off. On this, you've got off and then on, and then a little charge point there, so it's all chargeable. You don't have to put batteries in there, which is quite nice. Little feature on there. Okay, so the PIR, construction is plastic, all good construction. You can see on there, you've got an off and on for the actual PIR, and a charging point. Fixture-wise, you can just attach to the wall like this, push that in, and it's just screwed in at two points and obviously adjustable. Okay. And then we've got a remote control to be able to turn the alarm off and arm it and even an SOS as well. Okay, again, all plasticky and a metal keyring on the end. All comes with the fixtures as I've shown already to mount all this stuff. Okay, so let's have a go at setting this up. So, we've got the power plugged in to the camera, which is the hub. So let's plug the power in here at the side. Next thing is, let's get our Android device and look for an app called Live Cloud. Okay, that's the one we want. Install that in the background. It's installed now, so let's open it up. Okay, do not optimize battery usage. Live Cloud will be able to run in the background and its battery usage will stop being op op optimized. So we'll just say no to that. Push alarm in background is disabled. Please check the phone settings to enable notifications. Okay, and we'll log in. So let me type my password off camera. Okay, so I've typed in my password. We'll put the little code in there and click login. Okay, register your phone to view your account history. Do not want to do that. And there you go, you're presented with this interface. So let's add in the camera, add a Wi-Fi device. Let me enter in my Wi-Fi password off camera and then we'll continue. Okay, so I've typed in my Wi-Fi password, click next, and it's found the camera straight away. So I'll click next to that. There you go, add device to account. I'll click that. Okay, system added successfully. System is configured, please wait. Okay, so the camera's successfully added now. So we, if we click on there, should be able to view some live footage on there. Live Cloud will start capturing everything that's displayed on the screen. Let's cancel that for now. There you go, easily maneuverable, picture quality wise. It looks good. Okay, let's go back. Let's show you some other options on there. So if I click there, 
sensors, users, storage, detail, and delete. Now, let's go to storage initially. So you can enable cloud storage using Dropbox, which is a nice feature. So that way you don't have to pay for a subscription service. So pretty impressed they're offering that. Users wise, you can add other users to control and see the camera and sensors. Okay, so let's try adding a sensor. So connect siren. So if I leave that to the side there, we take the actual siren, turn it on and wireless connect. I just hold on to that. Okay. Added successfully, and there you go, sirens there. Let me put that to the side. Let's bring it up here, put a location in for it, no need. So, next thing is let's take door sensor, open it up, put it in the on position. Okay, that's on. Click the plus. We'll hold on to the button. There you go. It's added to sensor. So door sensor. Just click the add on there. Put that to the side. Okay, it's got a configure now button. Click on that. Okay, so in terms of settings, that's the options you get. So activate 24 hour alarm. Alarm will also sound when disarmed. Okay. Delay arm time, activate siren, flash function, PTZ trace, and alarm situation. Okay, that's that one added. Let's add in the PIR next. So if I click the plus for a moment, get the actual PIR put it into the on position, like so. Okay, there you go, simple as that, to add that one. Configure now on there as well. There you go. Okay, so we've got the Siren, PIR, door sensor, all three items configured on there. Next thing is the outdoor camera. Let's get that added. So I've got the app here, click there, add system, and it's a Wi-Fi device. And next it will show my Wi-Fi password. So let me do that off click camera. Next, and straight away it's picked it up. So just click next to there and let it add. Okay, add device to account, click that. Okay, and it's just there. Just trying to configure it now. So we'll let that configure in the background. Okay, so the outdoor camera's added. I'll just click there to show the picture quality on that. So again, you can start recording to cloud. At cancel on that and just point out the window. Picture quality is really good. 720 on there. Bring it back again. Okay, so let me show you the picture quality on the two cameras next. So this is the main hub one. This is the one with PTZ on there. Let's cancel this option. Picture quality is really good show you the additional options on there. So obviously changing the picture quality, turning the mic on, on my side to speak into it. Hello. Testing one, two, three. Hello. Testing one, two, three. There you go. Let's come out of that. 
and you've got speaker on. Hello? Hello. Testing, one, two, three. There you go, so that's picking, the camera's pink, picking that sound up. You can arm it. Enable motion detection. Obviously, all the alarm will kick in if we do that. Let's turn the speaker off. Go to settings, video settings. So that will give a higher resolution. Let's do that and do save setting. Okay, we'll go to video record. Please insert SD card. Okay, no SD card in this, or it doesn't come with one, so you'd have to buy it separately. Let's go back. There you go, picture quality is even better now. Okay, that's the PTZ camera. Let's click on the outdoor one. No microphone or speaker on this one. Picture quality is just as good. Same options as before, but obviously these don't work. You've got the arm as well to enable motion detection. Cancel that. Okay, the other things to show. Okay, so in terms of arming the system, if I go there, I can arm it or disarm it. You can see your alarms that have gone off. Pretty straightforward. Obviously, you can arm a certain sensor if you wanted to. So either each of the cameras or the door sensor or the PIR. So let's test it out on the door sensor. That'll be quite a straightforward one to do. So that should be armed now. So if, for instance, I go there, hopefully I should be able to demonstrate this quite easily. So that's the door in the closed position. And if it's opened, and then close again. There you go, so it's gone off. Let's disarm it. Give it a moment to disarm. Okay, all the sensors disarmed. And let's do it from here as well. There you go, finally stopped. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing of this security system. Pretty straightforward to put together and configure. One thing to note, you've got to ensure your actual devices, the PTZ camera and the outdoor camera, is fairly close to your Wi-Fi uh, router or extender for it to pick up the signal and go through. It's nice it comes with door sensor, PIR as well, and the actual Siren which has um, a solar panel on there. So that's quite nice. It keeps it charged up Now I couldn't get the actual remote working, but that's not a biggie because you can use it via the app to, to arm it and disarm it generally a good system Instructions are minimal. There's not really much in there. It would be good if it had a bit more in there Usability wise, it's cool that you can actually arm different elements so for example just one of the cameras and leave the others off or just arm all three of these and leave this one off siren wise obviously you've got a siren built into here so if it goes off this comes on and obviously the main siren which is really loud as it is now one thing to note if someone does manage to pull this off the wall it's quite easy for them to turn off so they can literally just go off and that's it it will just mute it so that's an interesting thing to keep in mind. So if you do get this system and install it, make sure it's quite high up so it's not easily sort of in reach for people. It's nice that you don't have to keep changing batteries or anything like this in this system. The fact you can just charge it up and just leave it. And if you need another charge, pull it off, put it on charge and that's it, you're done. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.